Alright, so I found myself in Barca and uh, I got a chance to raid uh, a Bealtemus, so I've got some supplies. And the van has turned into a 1997 Opel Astra. But anyway, uh, some tat, just some finished flags because we have them. We can start a little wee collection on the back door. Some uh, of this uh, insulated soundproofy stuff. Three of the really thin sheets to go on uh, the interior walls and some of the thicker stuff to go on the rear doors. And uh, that's probably going to do quite a bit of difference in insulation since I'll have everything covered. Uh, it's uh, pretty nice stuff. Okay, quality. Cool. I've dealt with this stuff from here before. It's got the uh, reflective finish to it, so it'll do a decent enough job. And uh, yeah, I also got uh, some better uh, window insulation stuff. So uh, the old stuff I got uh, back where I live is basically just aluminium, alumi aluminized uh, uh, plastic, whereas this is actually uh, like a foam. You might be able to see that. It's not just a thin sheet, but rather it has a bit of thickness to it. So I figure this stuff costs nothing and it'll probably do a much better job at insulating. And it'll probably be easier to mount since it's not as floppy and horrid. And I'll I'll probably end up taping most of it in place though because the magnets just uh, they don't really cut the mustard. I also bought uh, some web down here. There we go, that white thing there is a bit of a uh, top, a white top, which I'm going to just uh, uh, figure out with a string to the rear of the solar panel and uh, hook it to uh, the rear cargo door so that they open up like so and then you'll have a top hanging from the top corners of the doors to the solar panel and I'll have a little bit of tent uh, in the rear of the van in order to cook some food uh, so I don't have to just have a door kind of open if it's raining and 10 litre fuel canister for obvious reasons I'm going out in nowhere and in the back we have some like tarp accessories to make mounting a bit easier if I have to make some new holes or cut it and uh, duct tape I'm out and a little pipe wrench because uh, my old one broke in two uh, more tarp accessories and that's about it <sighs> 117 euros here I'm preparing to leave for Pietarsari to move north, finally, and uh, a tarp. So this is just the cheapest tarp I had on Bealtemo, the smallest one, and uh, really the simplest little roof you can imagine. So I've got uh, some clamps just clamping it together, it's folded double, and uh, a couple of these little hookies which hook onto the roof rack. And these are the right length, so they just kind of spring a little, tarting it up. It's not super sturdy, but it's somewhat windy today and it hasn't gone anywhere yet. And pretty quick to deploy, just unhook these and pull it down. And all right, we are just about to get a move on. I need to find a better place for that by night time. And I've got a lot of insulated stuff that's still undone, but hey, we're leaving. That's it. Uh, still need to fix one of the most annoying issues about this vehicle and that's you cannot open this door from the inside. There's no handle, it can only do it from the outside. The other door, this one can be opened from the inside, it has a handle. But, yeah, it doesn't open this one, so... It's a bit of an annoyance. But anyway, I just finished setting up a time-lapse camera mount number three. And it's already started. A very tight power connection, this is... We've, this is all slack we've got and it's almost getting cut in half by my shelving but that should be taking the best uh, time-lapse pictures as of yet uh, you never saw my first attempt which is, was just yeah cut off somewhere like that you had this little slide uh, but yeah I need to get a move on time's running short
now about 9 in the evening and we're finally starting to see some signs for Tornio. And uh, Tornio is uh, the, uh, shall we say, last Finnish uh, town uh, if you take the quickest route to Sweden. And on the other side of the border there's Haparanda. So we're getting close. Now, things have come in the way in a bit. I've been advised of this odd YouTube thing, Google Automatic Mail, whatever, in Stockholm. So I'm considering taking a route through Sweden rather than uh, looking straight to Norway. But I'm not entirely certain as to what I'll do yet. It fits very well with the time. It's uh, the 31st, the evening of the 31st right now, and uh, I should be in Stockholm on the 4th. If I keep this rate up, I'll be in Stockholm on like the second. So I'm kind of looking for a detour to kind of pass the time. Because it would be very boring to just be stuck in the same place for more than like, well, any amount of time really. Unless it's Norway <laughs> or Central Europe. Um, well, I'll have to. I'm going to take a break in Tornio probably and uh, have a bit of a think. I think we're passing into Sweden now, but I've got no idea. That was not my intention. Uh, the signs are saying Sweden. Go here for Sweden. Uh, I have no idea. You're supposed to cross a river into Sweden. And it does say Sweden. Man, I'm confused. I'm sincerely confused. I... Max Hopparanda, yep. We're definitely getting to Sweden now. Okay. Fair enough. Guess we're Swedish. Okay, it turns out I'm entirely wrong. We apparently crossed uh, two rivers. You apparently need to cross two rivers in order to get to Sweden, so we're not in Sweden yet. Good thing. Uh, having a bit of a break in Tornio, it's about uh, 10 in the evening. Uh, still in Finland, wanting to uh, get the last few seconds of good internet access before I'm limited to a very strict international quota. So I'm trying to plan my route and uh, so I considered going to the YouTube Creators Day in Stockholm, to which I was invited, but I don't know, it's a difficult choice to make, because my original route was to just go up and over there, and uh, to Norway and down along the Norwegian border to Bergen, and uh, then to this rough area where I'm supposed to be in a few days' time. But if I had to go by Stockholm, uh, man, that's that's a bit of a bother. So I set out perhaps a couple of days too early for for all the scheduling to work out properly. But uh, like I, I am in Tornio right now, which is right there. If I go straight to Stockholm, that takes about one day. So I can either take a detour and go like up there, very far far up north and check that out, but I don't really see the point, the inland roads are incredibly boring, and uh, that would pretty much set me back far enough to uh, go to Stockholm, but uh, yeah, that would, that would be basically just ditching Norway, because then I'd be able to go straight west and <laughs> go where I'm supposed to go. That feels really dumb. Yeah, I think I'm going to ditch Stockholm, actually. Because there's just no point in going there. Since I live there, going to Stockholm is not a big deal normally. But going to Norway, well, that's 1,500 kilometers. So that's that decision out of the way. I'm not going to a YouTube creator day. Good choice, probably. Didn't seem to be. It's not real of it. You don't get any information. In true Google spirit, you do not get any information at all about the actual events. Like, I basically just got this email saying, 
you're invited, and then I could RSVP, so I RSVP'd, and uh, then they said thanks, and there's no info about what's going to happen, why you're there, what you're going to do, so it's going to be some kind of social event, which I suppose would be nice, it would be nice to just roll up in the van and look cool, but yeah, beyond that, what's you going to do? Probably get some cool Google tat, but that's not worth driving 1500 kilometers for. Ah. In other news, got some hooks put up there in the van to uh, hang my clothes, which turns this area into mu a much more useful space. And uh, I got my green rug properly cleaned at a cleaning firm, Grandpa insisted, and it no longer smells like horrible factory rubber, so it's quite pleasant in here. Uh, I've uh, earlier had the choice between either the ingrown uh, stench of animal dung, which is in the original carpet of the vehicle, or horrible industrial rubber, which is in uh, the green shag carpet. But having neither of those is quite a nice change of pace. Ah, uh, weather. Even though we're quite a five knots, it's pretty nice. 15 outside, 19 inside. Alright, so I'm going to spend the night here in Tornio. I've decided. And uh, I didn't really want to stay in the centre of town. Partially it's horrible to find parking, which uh, can stay more than an hour. And uh, yeah, it was just too crowded, lots of people moving around. Uh, it just felt kind of uncomfortable and loud. So I just drove away in some random direction into mainland Finland and uh, I saw some signs leading to this church. And I figured, what's going to be more peaceful and less assuming than a church parking lot so I'm gonna spend my night here and hopefully I'll get some 4G so I can get this video up. Oh man this is a perfect spot so we've got this quite beautiful seems relatively new church all lit up and nice and we've got some street lighting going on a nice well lit parking lot and then all of the way over there, if I turn on my light, that's my rug plate. <laughs> you can barely even see the vehicle with your naked eye. This is excellent. So much nicer than the centre of town. Yeah, this is a relatively new church uh, as far as uh, Finnish church standards go. Uh, you probably can't read it or understand it, but it says Under Gustav den fjärde ad av regering år 1792. Uh, that means uh, uh, built under the rule of uh, Gustav the Fourth Adolf, and uh, in the year 1797, so it's 1800s church basically. And uh, we've got churches from like the 1300s and probably the 1000s around, so it's modern by our church standards. And something that's particularly modern is these street lights because, y <laughs> again, you're not going to see it, but these are LED lights. I was quite amazed because they have a very bluish tint to them. It uh, looks just like normal bluish uh, gas discharge lamps. Well, now I'm going to get inside. It is no video. Good night. I mean, now I'm finally going to eat that pudding which has been rotting on the time lapse camera since uh, Pietar Saari.